As I was taking my walk, I realized I used to never really set goals or visions for my future. I kind of just went with the flow and along a path that I felt I should be going. But in the past few years, vision and goal planning has really become an important part of my life. Being intentional about how I want to design my life and future has really changed my entire life direction, especially now that I've moved to another country. If you haven't sat down with yourself recently and thought about how you want to design your future and plan, I highly recommend this process. Hi, it's Sarah from The Organized Notebook and in this video, I wanted to show you how I plan and design a vision board for 2024 and I'll be using both Notion and Canva to do this. So let's go ahead and open an empty Notion page and we're just going to title this Vision Board 2024 and you can click add cover to add a cover and we're just going to change cover and in this vision board i'm just going to go with something that has something calm and for that i think that watercolor would be perfect so we're just going to search for watercolor and click this one and then reposition it save position and now we can get started with the vision board so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is to click the three dots on the top and do small text full width and I'm going to add a database here that's going to show a gallery view that will be sort of representative of our main vision for 2024 with a yearly theme. So let's go ahead and title it by typing slash heading and we're going to choose heading three and this is going to be called theme of the year and we can choose a theme here so i'm going to go with something like cultivating calm and the reason i'm choosing this one is because i feel like these days things are just so hectic that it's really important for me to just kind of detach and de-stress and really find that sense of calm so this is just going to be sort of my theme of the year and something that I'm just going to be more actively pursuing this year. And the more I look at this, I hope that I will be able to continue to sort of think about it in my daily life. So I'm just going to write that down here and then do a divider by typing slash divider. And under that, I'll be adding a gallery view database by typing slash gallery and then gallery view. And this is going to be a new database and database kind of sounds like a tough word for a vision board but in this case it's just somewhere where we're going to be holding our pictures for this theme of the year so we can just do theme of the year and we're going to go ahead and hide this database title by going to the three dots here and then layout and toggle off show database title and we also have to add card preview to be page cover and then we're going to go back and we're going to actually take off the name here under it so that we can just get a clean picture here so we're going to go to properties and then hide name so now we just have these blank spaces and this is just really for the theme of the year so the photos are just going to reflect this theme so we're just going to go ahead click add cover and whatever you add here is not really relevant in this case but of course you can also tag it and do other things here write notes and so on so we're just going to go ahead and change cover and for this we'll just use unsplash and we'll go with something calming just like our theme and choose a few pictures that really provide a sense of calm so let's just go ahead add cover change cover unsplash and now we have something like this and you should just remember that you can always reposition the photo from here by clicking like this and moving it around so we can just save position so now we can move on to design the rest of this vision board and I'm going to be categorizing each part of this into different life areas. It's also possible to just do one big vision board, but I think that it's really important to really be intentional about each of your life areas and what you really want to focus on in each part of your life. So although this is the cultivating calm and the part where it's going to be the theme of the year, here we're just going to start listing out some life areas. So for example, we're going to be thinking about health, thinking about career, finances, personal growth, creativity, community. So we just 
thought of about six different life areas and you can really think about what would apply to you for this so make sure to really customize it to your own needs but for me i really feel like health career finances personal growth creativity and community would be perfect so now the next step is actually to sort of divide this area into different columns so we're gonna go ahead and type slash column and we're gonna choose two columns here and now you can start moving them into the different columns so health can go here career can go here and we can move personal growth on the right hand side creativity on this side as well and then finances and community could go under here and what we're going to do next is actually to change these all into heading threes And once that's done, we're going to put a divider underneath each one. And this is just so that it looks nicer. So here we can put the main vision for this life area for 2024 and try to write it in a way that you imagine you're already there. So in this case, I'm going to write exercise is my priority. And then underneath that, I'm going to choose a quote that I think matches with this theme. So we're going to go ahead and type slash quote and choose this one. And we're going to go ahead and put a quote here. So let's go ahead and put a quote by Muhammad Ali here. I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. So under here, we can just put the vision board that we're going to be creating in Canva. So I'm just going to type slash image and then click image and it's going to be ready to be embedded inside here so now let's actually go to canva so canva is basically where we make most of our cover photos and any other extra visuals that we add to our notion pages and in this case it's also a really great tool for creating vision boards because there's so many stock images that you can choose from and it really feels like you're cutting out magazines and really making your own board and in this case we chose the facebook cover photo size but ideally you can just use any kind of size that you want so now let's take the topic of health and start building this vision board. So you can just go to elements here and then you can search for health and then you can go to photos and basically you'll find so many photos you can choose from through here. And we do have Canva Pro, which means that we have a lot more options in terms of pictures. But even if you have just the free version, you will still find pictures you can use. So let's just go ahead and start assembling our vision board. So basically, if you want to make a nice vision board, one of the best things to do is just to choose images that just speak to you. So just don't think too much, but make sure that all the images you choose sort of all work together and relate to the topic that you're going for. So in this case, my vision is really to prioritize health this year. So I want to be able to just see sort of people who are really exercising and who really embody the idea of making exercise a priority. So I want to run more, I want to stretch more, I want to go outside more and so on. So I just want to make sure to add a bunch of photos that will keep me really motivated and reminded of this goal as well. So we can also change our search words. So for example, exercise, and we can find some photos of people exercising. So this is just a really good way to keep yourself motivated and to make sure that you can really stay on top of your vision and goal and really visualize it as well. So it's also kind of similar to, especially with this health goal or health vision, that when you join a gym and you see other people exercising, it's way more motivating than just exercising alone. So by looking at pictures of people exercising or things relating to health, we can really start to add more motivation into our lives. And as you can see, I'm just layering the photos like this and it really, you don't worry too much about how it looks. It's just basically a collage of different pictures. And for example, I also want to really make a yoga routine as well. So 
mainly yoga and also jogging outside would be the best forms of exercise that I would like to do in 2024. So once you have a bunch of pictures, the next thing you can look for are some graphics. So if you go to graphics, you can find all sorts of stickers and things like that. You can also add to your vision board. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding a few here. So now we have our health vision board here. So we can just type health to keep track of it. And we can do the same for all of our life areas now. So let's go ahead and do that. Great. So this is basically how my vision boards look like now. So I filled everything in and added a few graphics as well. So now what we can do is just to click share and download it. And I'll be doing a PNG file and download. And once they've downloaded, you do have to unzip the files, but then you can start adding them to your Notion page. So let's go back to our Notion page. So now we can start adding those photos to our Notion page. So let's go ahead and click add an image and we can upload file. And now we can continue to add the other photos by doing slash image and we can just do upload image. So now all our photos are filled in. So let's go ahead and add our vision for each section. So my vision for my career is going to be that I'm going to be passionate this year, more passionate about the work I do and any kind of work that I do. So I'm going to type here, I am passionate about my career because it's so easy sometimes to kind of lose that kind of spark and passion the more that you work but i really want to be more intentional about being passionate and in self-growth i would like to discover new things as much as i can so i will type here i will be open to new ideas and in finances, one of my biggest visions for this year is going to be to pay off my student debt as well as to make sure that I can start saving. So I'm going to type here to be intentional about spending. And it's important to say I am just to really visualize it and see how you could be there. And under creativity, I want to become more bold and really not be scared of what others might think of me so i'm gonna type here i am not afraid to be bold and in community i would like to find a place to volunteer and give back more to my own community and become more involved in it so i'm just gonna type here i am involved in my community and now let's go ahead and find some quotes that will resonate with each of these so now all of the vision board is filled in and I feel really good about this vision board for 2024. I filled in all of the quotes and just looking at this is going to make my day brighter and also really allow me to focus on what's most important to me. So as you can see, each of these photos represents these life areas and all the things that I want to make sure to remember and to visualize. So I highly recommend everyone to create a vision board for 2024. We'll be leaving a link to an empty version of this in the description below so that you can also use Notion in order to create your vision board as well. And let us know if you have any questions or comments or anything confusing during this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.